Harding's free kick for Saints to the edge of the penalty area, over the top of Jaidi, and that will run harmlessly towards the bar. And in fact, it came off a Huddersfield man, so the defender Clark had to uh, make up some ground there to prevent that running behind for a corner. Taken quickly by Saints on this right side. Hammond from the right side of the penalty area. Volleyed away by Kay from inside his own penalty box. Forward it comes down the right-hand side. It's Punchin trying to get round the outside of Heffernan. Punchin's ball's a good one towards Abbott! And he's scored again! As Rookie Abbott! The boy cannot stop scoring! It's the fifth game at St Mary's in which he scored in a row! He signals for the Huddersfield fans to be quiet. And Saints are up to a flyer. 16th minute... Ricky Lambert on the money again, Saints 1, Huddersfield 0. Well, that's what I call a real old-fashioned football goal. Winger takes on his man, gets to the line, puts in an absolutely superb ball into the box, up goes the big striker, Lambert, heads it away past the goalkeeper, quality goal. There was a moment's hesitation from the fans as the ball thundered down off the underside of the bar and Smithies, the goalkeeper, tried to retrieve it, but it was quite clearly over the line. Punching with the corner, left-footed outswinger, in towards the head of Jaidi, nodded across the goal. Uh, Lambert, rather, will come across to pick it up inside the touchline over on this near right side. Hammond is there as well. Hammond gets a cross in from an impossible position. The header goal is into the back of the net! And it's Lee Barnard! He's an inspirational form as well! And Saints' two goal machines have won each on the night. 24 minutes played. Barnard again. Five and three for him. It's Saints' two. Huddersfield nil. I'll tell you what, I didn't think he was going to get that cross in there. That was an absolutely first class super cross from a position which you wouldn't expect him turning and getting that in. But not only did he turn and get it in, Chris. It was a quality ball in there, and, Lambert, and Bonnard's got to it and stuck it away like Lambert, a good header. Two cracking goals from great crosses. They don't take long, Saints fans. They've already got a song for Lee Barnard, which goes a bit like Lee Barnard. A bit like that, anyway. Uh, the X Factor, hang on, my phone's ringing. I think it's Simon Cow. Here comes Saints down the right-hand side. It's punching into the penalty area for Southampton. Punch it onto his left foot! And it's three! And Punchin scores at St Mary's for the second game in a row! And Saints are tearing the Terriers to shreds. The visitors protest. Saints celebrate. Still 12 minutes till the break. And it's Saints 3, Huddersfield nil. Well, again, it's the quality of the individual. He's picked up the ball on the right-hand side. They've changed the play. He's cut inside the full-back. He's just inside the box. Sees the goalkeeper, looks up. Great perception, great awareness. Bends the ball with his left foot round the goalkeeper's right and just inside the post, what a cracking goal, 3-0, they're taking them apart. 3-0, three different scorers, Southampton scored five at the weekend with four different scorers, the goals are coming from all over the place, what price Morgan Schneiderlin gets off the mark tonight? Quarter of an hour to play, 3-0, corner in towards the back post, and Merlin to the back of the net! And it's the captain, Dean Hammond, who runs across to the near post, glances it past the goalkeeper, and a quarter of an hour to play, Saints have put this game well and truly to bed. Fifth goal of the season for Dean Hammond, Saints 4, Huddersfield 0. Well, the ball whipped into the box uh, by uh, Punchin, and Hammond, who's got away from his man on a number of occasions tonight, broke this time across the face of the goal and uh, across the defenders of Huddersfield. Lovely flick. Have a change in a moment, though, but I'm not sure that young Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain is not going to come on for his debut in a moment. As I mentioned earlier on, Huddersfield's last visit to Southampton, October 1994, Saints won 4-0. A certain Mr Letizia scored all four. It might be five now, though, because Wago is in on goal. Wago one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Good save by Smithies. Wago! It is five for the second game in a row. Papa Wago crosses his arms, says it's all over. It was all over a long, long time ago. Six minutes to play. Southampton five, Huddersfield nil. Well, let me just take you through that one. Lambert gets the ball, he's got his back to goal, he's just on the right-hand side, and he takes a look over his shoulder and lifts a quality ball just over the top of the defender, the centre-half, for Wago to run on to. He's left one-on-one -on -one with the defender, beats him, beats the goalkeeper, turns, slips it into the net. But what a ball from Lambert! Well, that's why you don't take Ricky Lambert off, because he can create things.